Subscribe to Software Testing Mentor channel, learn latest technologies in software testing, test automation, testing tools, and much more. Hello friends, welcome to Test Rail Training. This is Manish and in this tutorial we will learn about different customization options available in TestRail. So as a TestRail administrator you have flexibility to customize a lot of things so for example templates etc to match or suit the needs of your projects. So to get started go to the administration tab at the top and click on customizations. Below customizations, you will see what all fields can be customized. So you'll see the case fields, then you have the results field. Um, you have different templates available, um, case types, priorities, statuses, UI scripts, etc. So we'll go through the sections one by one. So at the moment, we are on the case fields, and you will see what all you want to see in the case field so if you want to if, for example the current default setup of the case uh, doesn't suit uh, or doesn't fulfill what your project requirement are you you need to add more fields to the case then you can click on add field provide the label of the field so you it's not necessary that you need to add the existing field you you can provide um, the label of the new field, description, system name, etc. And what type of field you are looking for. Um, then you can choose whether this field applies to all template or this applies to a you know, like specific template. So once you are done with that, um, that field, uh, click on add field and that new field will be listed in the um, test case. So I'll cancel that for the moment. So we'll see the current fields are um, expected results, steps, etc. So let's add a priority field to the case. Okay, so click on add field and I'll say priority name as a label as a priority. And this is unique to the um, um, in the database. So uh, you you need to provide you know like all lowercase so I'll say priority and then what type of field you're looking for so priority I'll define it as a drop down and I'll define different levels of priority so you can you know like have a um, sort of the values in the drop down so um, select that drop down and this fields applied applies to all template and click on add field so now you'll see the priority field is being added as a drop down in the case field now the values in the in the field needs to be added later so this is how you add the case field uh, to edit any field you just click on this little edit icon to delete a field just click on this little delete icon there are some system fields that you can only edit and not delete okay uh, or you cannot even like even sort so if you want other fields so for example you want to have the priority field at the top or the first field then you can um, uh, move that particular field top or bottom with these little arrows right the other section is around the results field wherein what all fields you want to see in the results so you have version elapsed defect steps etc then you can add more fields around the results field then you have default templates for exploratory session test case test case text if you want to add more templates or these templates that are available at the moment don't suit your project need you can click on add template and provide the name say for example I want new template for my test cases and if you want to make this as a default test case, uh, test, uh, case template check that box and if this applies to all project select the first one or you can select particular project for which this template applies right so I'll keep it as default and click on add template a new template um, gets added in the template section 
Similarly, in the case types, we have certain case types, usability, smoke, uh, and sanity, security, etc. You want to have more case types, you just click on add type to add the case types. Same thing with the priorities. So at the moment, you have critical, high, medium, low. If you want to add more priorities, you can add here. Um, in the statuses, same thing, pass, block, untested, failed, etc. You can have custom um, statuses uh, which are available. You can edit these to have more statuses in the uh, test rail instance. Uh, similarly, in the UI script, you can have more um, UI scripts. So if you want to add um, new UI scripts, so for example, um, you want to have some, you know, like um, code uh, to show some uh, message, etc. You can put um, the code here, right? So this is pretty much all about the customizations of uh, the case fields, results field, case type, template, etc. in TestRail. Hope you like the tutorial. Uh, please share uh, with your friends and subscribe to the channel to get more tutorials like this. Thank you.